Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Queen of Other Trades. So today I have a daily read for you guys. Okay, so the first thing is first. The first thing is your personal development, which you need to work on. So we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so some of you guys definitely need to work on letting go of some things. Okay, there's some things that you've been harboring onto, that you've been holding onto, that you just need to just let go. Okay, um, and another thing you guys that definitely need to work on is your home life. Okay. Situations that's going on in your home life, okay, your marriage, your family, your kids, stuff like that. Some of you guys need to be working on letting go of a marriage. Tell me about the poor one. Okay, so as far as the four ones is concerned, like I said, you need to work on your home life, but marriage, you guys need to work work on balancing out your partnerships, okay. Um, getting your partnership stable. I kind of feel like that you have a lot of love for this person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, and it needs to be a lot. You need to work on your romantic aspect of the situation. Maybe bring more love to the, to the table, okay? More romance, okay? And um, we have the Knight of Swords. So I kind of feel like you need to be more, like, upbeat or up, you know, more quick with it or, you know, more speedy. I don't know. You just need to work on, like, your movements and the way that you're moving in the situation. Like, maybe you need to be moving fast when it comes to your home life. Yeah, and I kind of feel like things definitely need to balance out, okay? Temperance. Also, you guys need to work on balancing out your emotions as well. What do you need to let go of? Yeah, you need to let go of being lazy. Some of you guys are definitely lazy. Um, you need to, it's time to let go of the laziness. So maybe when I see the night, the night of swords, it was about being active, you know, working and being in movement, staying busy. Okay, yeah, you need to move around, you know, get out and go and st get some fresh air. Okay, because you guys are definitely lazy right now. Um, and some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are contemplating something, contemplate making a move or contemplating doing something. You just need to do it. Okay. Yeah, you just need to do it and just make boss moves, okay? Be independent and do it independently. You know, you got all, all you need to do it. And I kind of feel like if you're determined enough, you know, with this mighty sword, so you guys will definitely be celebrating, especially if this pertaining to exercising, you know, because you're being so lazy around the house. You just get up and go, you know, work on, um, you know, making the moves that you need to make and being determined and work on, you know, the drive that you need in order for you to move forward in certain situations and learn how to let things go, okay? So I don't know what kind of situation you're up against, but hopefully that helps a little bit with clarity, okay? So, um, as far as your finances is concerned, I kind of, we have the world in the full so I kind of feel like that cycles is definitely closing out as far as your finances is, is concerned, okay? Um, there's about to be a brand new beginning as far as your financial sector is concerned. Um, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. Something is definitely closing, though. You could be leaving a job. Yeah, something that you just wasn't passionate about, okay? A job that you just didn't really fucking like, and we have the world again, okay? So you, that's about to close out. Something that you just wasn't passionate about is about to definitely close. Changes. Dealing with um, things that just didn't motivate you, okay? Yeah, then we have the full following by the um, four of pentacles. So we just seen this full over here with this four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is in reverse. So, you know, you guys definitely need to... Um, you're about to get brand new beginnings, okay? And letting go of, you know, some things financially. Yeah, I kind of feel like when it comes to your work. Okay, letting go of some things and you about to start something brand new beginning, a new job. Okay, it's telling you guys to just stay strong in the situation. Next, we have your um, love and romance. So with that, we have the eight of, I mean, the seven of wands and the three of cups. So I kind of feel like you guys definitely are defensive in your romantic sector here, okay? Um, you could be involved in a third party situation. Some of you guys need to protect yourself from a third party situation. Or protect 
protect yourself from multiple people. Yeah. I feel like with this third party situation, things just aren't really going anywhere, okay? Um, if you're dealing with a situation with somebody here during the third party, it's not going anywhere, okay? It's too many secrets involved in this situation. Seven of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys definitely need to protect your emotions as well. You know, protect your emotions for more when to show back up. Yeah, we you need to get some type of balance in with the situation. Um, you may be dealing with a comic person, okay? Um, so you guys definitely need to heal. Okay, some of the um, men that's in your life, the masculine energies that's in your life, they're not really showing you any type of love or attention or anything like that. Um, there's really no love here. I feel like you've been getting synchronicity and signs um, about this person that you in this romantic situation with, but you just haven't been paying attention to them. Okay, um, yeah, you need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities regarding your love life, love and romance here. But if this person isn't giving you any love and romance, I kind of feel like you, this is what you want. You know, you want this Knight of Cups, okay? And you want a successful um, partnership, okay, with love and finances combined. You want, a, you want a, a mate that's strong, you know, that's romantic and financially stable as well. Okay. So as far as your sex goal is concerned, you guys, um, some of you guys could be dealing with a bunch of people, okay? It could be group sex. Like I said, I've seen this third party situation. Maybe you condoning it. Maybe you need to protect yourself from it, but it's, the situation ain't really going anywhere. But if that's your situation, like, I feel like some of you guys are definitely, like, involved in, like, group sex, okay? Like, um, swinging and shit like that. Um, and I kind of feel like um, some of you guys definitely uh, deal with partners, like, the kind of positions that y'all like to get into is, like, slow riding. Like, the person riding, but slow. Some people can be offering you money, okay, to be a swinger or something like that. And you looking at it as, like, a good opportunity, okay. Um, if somebody is offering you a chance to, to be in an orgy or something like that. Um, some of you guys definitely like to put in a lot of work in the bedroom, okay? You, you overexert yourself. You don't want to be doing a lot of work. Yeah, somebody could be thinking that you're not fast enough or you move too slow or something like that, because we got the night of, yeah, it's like when you ride and they think that you be moving slow, but you the one that's putting in all the work in a relationship, like when you're, when you're doing it, it's like you doing everything, they don't do nothing, <laughs> they don't do nothing. Yeah, some of them definitely want to see you, um, some, some of you guys definitely have, like, a nice body, like, a big, um, you know, big butt or whatever. Yeah, somebody like rough sex, okay? But I kind of feel like whoever this is that you're doing this with is like, it's not really going anywhere. Like, no matter how you try to please this person or something like that, it's just, they not, they not appreciating what it is that you're giving them, okay? It's what I'm picking up. It's like they don't feel appreciative or something like that. I feel like you be thinking a lot when y'all be having sex, like... You just need to let go of your thoughts. You can think too much on what you're going to do. But just instead of being in 
in it. Yeah, because a guy who you're dealing with could be a person that you married to or something like that. But the swing is like, he definitely like somebody that got a big ass butt. Like this is a, a ass man for real. If somebody could be stressed out, you know, because maybe they don't have those goods or whatever the case may be. But I kind of feel like, um, yeah, somebody might be stressed out or worried that, you know, that something is going to end or that things is going to change in the situation we're dealing with this person. This person could be stressed out because this person could want a lot of different things from you sexually. Um, want you to do a lot of a lot of different things. It's like you do most, most of the work, you know. Like they want you to go fast and they don't want you to go fast. Then, you know, they just they just be doing too much and they be wanting too fucking much. I'll just be like, you know what I say? Tell them to fuck off. Okay. Do it yourself. All right. But you don't take my advice. That's just what I would do. You do what you're going to do. Okay. Um... Some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are just trying your best to just try to please this person just so they don't go anywhere. Um, so the advice that we have for you guys is past life relationship in the sense you have known each other before. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with, what this romantic sector is, you definitely have a past life connection with them, okay? Um, and then we have the Knight of Wands. So I kind of feel like you guys aren't really having sex at the moment. You guys aren't really attracted to each other or things just aren't moving moving good with y'all um passionately like this person isn't coming forward towards you or you're not moving forward towards them yeah but you just want things to hurry up and move along quick like it ain't currently there's no action being taken and you ready for you know something to happen really really fast you ready for some type of victory you know, you're ready for good things to happen. This is ready to come in the reverse again. But it's no movement, you know. I see that you guys could be patiently waiting for this person, you know, to come back deep down. You're waiting for them, okay? You're sitting here by yourself waiting for this person to come back to you. And some of you guys definitely have some type of insecurities dealing with this person. Yeah, for some people, there's secrets going on here, okay? That somebody just needs to just let go, okay? Let go and let God pretty much help you out in the situation, deal with this person that you have come rushing in from your past, okay? This could definitely be somebody who you don't see attractive anymore or somebody who you haven't slept with in a while. All right, um, Leo, hopefully this will give you some type of clarity, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.